on to my next job. So this job, I was a prep chef. Or prep cook, I guess you say. A chef is a higher position. Um, I get to cut vegetables all day and fruits and stuff. It's pretty fun. I like working with knives and, knives and stuff. And it's better than being a line cook because line cook has to make things to order. This one, I just make my quota for the day, put in little Tupperware bins, and then I'm done. I go home. Um, not too much to say about this, except there are a lot of cute girls, which is awesome. Got the flirt and stiff. And uh, I enjoyed the, the kitchen environment. Um, I quit just because I was moving to North Carolina which is where I am at now and so we're almost at the current my current status so many jobs to sort through it's ridiculous um, so to North Carolina Asheville I never thought I would be in North Carolina I never put any weight to the state at all but this town is pretty awesome so I was looking for job for a long time never applied so much and not gotten a job but I got desperate so I got this job at Wendy's which you know it's fucking Wendy's it's fast food so I got to have first-hand experience at what it's like to flip burgers uh, not just burgers anywhere but anywhere but at a fast food chain and I have so much respect for these people now like, we go through a drive through That was supposed to be a car. I don't know what the hell happened. This is like a space car. You go through... <laughs> it looks like a person's face. <laughs> um, we just kind of expect... Like, yeah, you order your thing at the menu, drive around the window, pay the window, second window, get out of here, I have my food. Like, okay, that process from you ordering to you receiving food there's just magic it just magically cooked food arrives to your plate and we kind of take it for granted we kind of expect it you know like if you wait two minutes for your food that's like a long time we're like what the fuck are these minimum wage people doing like where's my fucking cheeseburger a whole the thing i realized this is real food you're actually cooking a burger putting real cheese and the bun Fries, chili, all that shit is real, real as hell, man. And yet, it happens it within like a few seconds. I think it's what, like 30 seconds or something like that? That probably comes out average. It's absolutely ridiculous. So much respect for this place. I mean, for fast food now. I will not rush anybody for food. Um, well, I don't get, I don't get fast food anyways, but... We should all have respect for these people. Um, I only worked one day. I was on the meat station. I thought it was kind of weird to like hold this bloody meat with your bare hands and like put it on the grill. The guy who was training me, he I don't think was really strict with health code. Uh, I became super strict after working at Blackberry or uh, <clears throat> excuse me at uh, when I was a prep chef. Uh, because I was so hands on the food, I literally had to put my hands way in the food. That I became extremely strict with washing my hands, and anytime I touched anything that could have been somebody else touching, I washed my hands. And uh, there was not this type of strictness here. In fact, a lot of places I worked at are nearly not very strict at all. You know, the place I was working at before wasn't very. I, I never saw anybody else washing their hands very much. Um. But I did have to bring my own soap, because I'm really... My hands are sensitive. So I just thought it was interesting, like, thinking of this guy who, uh... Like a marker fell off the table, onto the ground. You know, he just, like, picks it up, puts it back, and later he's touching this meat. So this marker touched the fucking ground, which touched your shoes which is now on the meat that somebody's putting right in their mouth without any hesitation like that's like poop to mouth that's fecal I don't know like you know like yeah it's hot oil it probably will kill a lot of stuff but any like 
actual debris could, in theory, possibly be on there. I don't know. <laughs> Just food for thought. <laughs> to think about what you're putting in your mouth. Yeah, it was... Uh, they timed you. They had, like, a little screen that had all, like, the seconds and stuff like that. Like, oh, you're... It took 41 seconds, so you're in the yellow. It was a little too long. Like, fucking 41 seconds? Are you serious? Like, what the fuck? Like, just the people's expectations for food. I don't know. You should really be patient. Just everybody, seriously. Just eat real food. Eat real fresh food. And just be patient with your service people, please. Just, can you do that for me? Please? Thank you. Um, so that was only one day. Uh, because I also got a job at Le Toys Riz. They don't know how to you do R's for some reason. This is an interesting job. Um, I was a stalker person, like overnight stalking. And again, with the training, or lack thereof, it was like two minutes explanation of what my job entailed, and that was it. They're like, yeah, you put stuff on the shelf. Yep, that's what you do. Okay, now go do it. Just like, well, what about the process? Like... Like, how do I know which aisle? Where? What if something doesn't fit and stuff? There's just so many details. If somebody just even just did one for an example in front of me, I would have a lot more to work with. But they literally just throw you out there, which is such a trend in so many businesses. And how do you expect to get good quality work when you're not properly training your employees? But, you know, I'm competent. I can figure shit out. And uh, I have figured my own ways. And had to ask people questions sometimes and you know there are a lot of new people all the time there's a lot of turnover so you have people who don't know what they're doing so they fuck shit up you know they put they hide stuff behind other things you know you just want to get the product out of your little you know you're, get, you're given a huge amount of it and it looks like you're productive if that all that shit is gone so you just find they find any way they can to make that shit disappear basically so it just it just is nasty and basically another aspect is that this the system computer system uh, so it basically tells you it wants a certain amount on the shelves and if there's not enough uh, you know if it's not on the shelf the box is th in theory in the back in the you know the big 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 shelves in the back but you have to use a little computer, a little uh, hand computer, it's like a gun thing, to put it in the back. But if there's not enough on the floor, and you can't, it won't let you put it in the back. And the thing is, too, is that these numbers were wrong, like, fucking all the time. So you have a box, or product, or whatever, you're trying to put it on the floor, you, you can't fit it, there's not, but the computer thinks you can, and so it just kind of goes back and forth because you kind of pile things. You, you always do this not one at a time, but in piles. So you have a pile of stuff that's supposed to go on, on the floor, and somebody else is trying to put it on the floor, but they can't, so it goes back. Obviously, you can, you can see that there's a loop here, and that happens a lot. And basically, the whole back room uh, is just full of shit. Just, it's an absolute, absolute, absolute clusterfuck. There's just piles of stuff just you can't even move anything anywhere because nothing is being properly processed at all and to add upon that they ship in enormous amounts of stuff that we have to get out of the truck right away so you just pile that in the floor in the middle of somewhere and there's not enough people they don't have higher enough people and so you can't bring enough of it out and then the system is against you and to put that all, to add upon all that, the general manager is like, oh, we need to have this done by today. Like, this whole, all this stuff that's out here, it's in a giant pile, you need to have that done by today. Like, you have to. Just, an, but I'm like, uh, that's literally not possible. Even if we had four times as many people, we couldn't even accomplish that, what you're asking us to do. Unreasonable demands unreasonable 
How can you even just... Ah! It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Talk about stress. Talk about not being able to do your job. That's what I keep talking about. That's my theme. Ah! <laughs> so I quit that place. And now... We're all the way to current time. My current job. Work at the Hyatt. I am a night auditor. 